Hi guys, in today's video I'm gonna share my favorite recipe well, not only my favorite, but also uh, my puppy's favorite recipe for dog food. Uh, so we started cooking for him a few months ago and it helped us a ton. He's a French Bulldog and he has a lot of allergies and he also uh, had problems with Giardia and finally switching his food helped a ton. So uh, coming from like pooping 10, 15 times a day. Uh, after switching his food, he started going to the bathroom two times a day. So we feed him two times a day and he goes to the bathroom two times a day, which is incredible because uh, we had, I mean, we tried so many different medications for him and nothing worked, only switching his food. Uh, so we decided to just stick with it and we love this recipe. It's not so hard to make. I mean, it takes time, uh, especially if you are new to it, but we usually prepare his food to last over a week. So we cook for him uh, once a week uh, or once every two weeks, depends how much meat and veggies we will buy. Uh, but usually it's like once a week and then uh, we put some in the fridge and then uh, the access uh, leftovers we put in the freezer. Uh, so whenever he eats everything he has in the fridge, uh, we just take out the food from the freezer and it takes about the day to throw it out. And then we just give him the next day. And it's super easy. Uh, we already portioned the meals, so uh, we don't have to, you know, scale it. We don't have to worry about it, you know, every morning, every uh, night, whenever we give him food. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty great. And he loves his food. Uh, and it's super healthy for him and he definitely has a lot less allergies uh, than before on the kibble uh, even on the raw food uh, he still had some problems so uh, fresh food <laughs> I mean it's like a miracle like I thought raw food would be better than fresh food uh, but after trying out uh, fresh food uh, we noticed like amazing difference like he feels so much better and we are very happy and he finally started putting some weight uh, so we are very very glad uh, because he, he used to be very skinny and no matter how much he would eat uh, he would lose uh, the weight pretty quickly so after switching his food to uh, fresh food uh, he's not only uh, better with his allergies he's also more regular in the bathroom and he also started to maintain healthy weight so these are like the biggest advantages and if you're interested in how i make his food then keep on watching hi guys so <laughs> tortellina is waiting for his food right now it's not his meal time yet but we will prepare his food for the whole week smells good oh yeah okay so i put um around eight pounds of meat here freshly ground as you can see it's Full. and this is the biggest instant pot so yeah it's a lot of meat uh, it should last um, right now we are fattening um, tortellino up so we are giving him more food than um, um, you know um, normally um, that's why you know we kind of go through <laughs> that amount of food pretty uh, quickly it should last around 10 days um, but normally it probably would last maybe two weeks or longer. Well, anyhow, uh, let's set it up. So pressure cook and we're gonna do it for 25 minutes. Uh, but I don't want raw meat. So I'm just gonna, yeah, maybe 45 minutes. Yeah, should be enough, I think. Okay, well, and now we just have to wait. Still have 19 minutes until meat is fully cooked. And uh, I'm gonna make rice right now. And I can highly recommend this uh, basmati rice uh, by Landerberg. It's uh, rice from California, so the lowest level of arsenic. Uh, that's why I uh, prefer to buy it. And I usually order uh, this on dry, but you can also buy it at Whole Foods. So I'm going to make around two cups of rice right now. And in instant pot, uh, it's a little bit different. When you cook rice, it's not, you know, one cup to two cups of water, but it's actually one cup of rice to one cup of water. Uh, so it's a little different because obviously uh, you don't lose uh, the water when you're uh, cooking in instant pot, so, so you use a lot less water. Uh, all 
I do, I just click rice and then uh, it's gonna just adjust the temperature. Uh, it's 10 minutes. If you have the option uh, to cook rice, then just click on it or you can just uh, cook it for 10 okay, minutes. So it's been 40 minutes since uh, the meat uh, was done. So I'm just gonna release. Let's see. Yep. So it's only released the pressure and let's see. Mm, looks good. And now also rice. Also slowly releasing. It's all done. Perfect. Tortellina already can sniff the smell of meat. <laughs> yep, it's ready. Okay, so now I'm gonna drain the meat and I'm gonna put it in a big container which you can see over there and I'm also gonna mix it with uh, rice and then I'm gonna cook uh, veggies in both of these instant pots. You can use any container you want, you can just use a huge pot um, but yeah, you'll need a lot of space so yeah, just for mixing the food. You cannot uh, pour the fat with water uh, from the meat through the drain. It's gonna get clogged. So uh, what I usually do when I want to, you know, get um, some leftover bits of meat from the instant pot, I basically drain it through uh, a colander uh, to a big measuring cup. <laughs> it's a measuring cup, like a tall one from IKEA, but you can use, you know, a pot or I don't know, a bowl or something like that. And then I wait until fat solidify and then I scrape it out to the garbage and then uh, I just pour um, the leftover water uh, through the drain. But uh, when the fat is mixed with water, don't pour it through the drain because it might get clogged and you're gonna have a problem. So just a heads up, keep that in mind. So now I'm gonna drain these veggies from water uh, and then I'm gonna mix it all in a big pot. done mixing and this is how it looks and now I'm gonna um, portion it so probably half of it I'm gonna freeze and um, I'll prepare around seven ten days of food to just keep it in the fridge okay so I'm using a uh, scale I actually really like this one this one is by nourish I'm gonna link it uh, in the description box and uh, what I do I put uh, you know whatever container I have 
Uh, this one is uh, Pyrex, you know, glass container. And uh, now I'm gonna just, uh, I think in this, this one's how many cups? Uh, let's see, seven, seven cup containers. So uh, I think I can fit maybe even four meals in this one. Uh, basically every meal for our 22 pounds of love, uh, our tortellino, the French bulldog. Um, so he eats 10 ounces per meal right now, uh, two meals per day, um, because we are trying to give him uh, more food. But uh, this may change. In a few months, we may give him eight ounces. Depends, you know, how he's gonna look, how he's gonna feel. But for now, we are giving him 10 ounces a meal. So 20 ounces a day. Okay. Okay, so this one uh, is already one pound four ounces. I think I'm gonna try to fit uh, two pounds and uh, five ounces, so it's gonna be basically two days of food. I'm gonna just flatten this. So it's gonna be easier to, you know, portion it to four parts. So yeah, make sure to flatten this out before you put it in the uh, fridge. Uh, and you should uh, use it within 10 days. Uh, you can also just freeze it and then, you know, it's gonna keep few months until, you know, uh, you're gonna defrost it. Uh, but yeah. containers uh, every single one is uh, two days so uh, four meals so eight meals total and here I have five pounds of food so that's gonna be uh, four days of food so I'm gonna freeze it as soon as it's gonna cool and yeah I'm gonna pack the rest of it so yeah that's actually a lot of food uh, I'm, I'm gonna tell you uh, how much in total it came out today uh, because basically it's every every time it's different because you know it depends how much rice I'm gonna add or meat um, or veggies but uh, yeah stay tuned okay so I just finished packing his food and let's see okay so uh, these containers I'm gonna put in the fridge and this is exactly four meals so two days of food and the same thing uh, two days of food so four days of food in total uh, just because I already have a container with uh, four meals in the fridge I don't want this to uh, go bad mm, so I decided to freeze the rest and here we have uh, eight pounds of food eight meals five pounds sorry did I say eight okay five pounds of food eight meals for four days so this is four days of food and this is uh, 44.5 ounces so it's gonna be around two days of food so uh, I'm just gonna let it cool and then I'm gonna put this in the freezer and these containers I'm gonna put in a fridge so uh, in total uh, this is four days of food four days of food so eight days of food plus two days of food so basically uh, ten days of food mm, plus extra so this is it and I think I paid at $26 for meat uh, around seven eight dollars for veggies and I don't remember how much I paid for beans and for rice so I'm gonna calculate everything and I'm gonna um, put this in the description box you know how much I spent on all of these ingredients and how much I paid in total for 
these 10 days of food. So make sure to check out the description box and yeah, that's it. I'm done. It's been, I mean, I think I started uh, to cook around 4 p.m. and it's right now 6 p.m. So um, yeah, two hours of making food for 10 days. Yep, um, I mean, you probably wonder, is it worth it? I mean, you can get um, subscription online. There is a lot of different companies that make uh, fresh dog food. And of course, uh, I'm not counting all the supplements I add to his food. Uh, I usually just add it to the meal. I don't put it in a, you know, the whole batch. I use this uh, Thorn K9 Basic Nutrients. It's a special supplement for dogs. It costs around $20. It's not the cheapest, but there's a 120 capsule, so it lasts forever. And I also add taurine, which is uh, very important for um, dogs. A lot of uh, uh, grain-free uh, kibbles, they don't have enough taurine. So um, they found out that dogs that were on grain-free diet had uh, heart problems. And that's why uh, recently there was a lot of articles, oh, grain-free food for dogs is unhealthy. And that's because the lack of taurine. So I'm adding taurine also to his food and also uh, salmon oil. This wild Alaskan salmon oil. Uh, I just squeeze one pound to his uh, breakfast. And yeah, I think that's, that's all. Um, if you have any questions, then please leave them down below in the description not description, in the comment section and let me know what you cook for your dogs and where you buy your um, food Seven, around 7-8 seven, pounds of meat I pay $26 uh, veggies were around $8 mm, I think I paid, I don't know, around $4 for 6 containers of uh, 6 cans of uh, beans and I paid uh, around six dollars for a bag of rice it's definitely not the cheapest and so maybe if you would buy a uh, lower quality um, ingredients like you know you can buy like super cheap meat super <laughs> cheap veggies I don't know in like 99 cents only a <laughs> store or something like that but you know it's it's also bad quality and you know I want to make sure that I give my dog um, the best quality food at least you know good quality <laughs> uh, so let me know if you have any tips for me um, because you know it's a lot of work it's it's also a lot of money mm, I mean it's obviously a lot more expensive than kibble it's even more expensive than raw food so I don't know uh, I'm thinking about some alternatives right now because uh, for now I'm just gonna keep making uh, this food but uh, I'm thinking you know what are the other options like better options, cheaper and less time consuming options. So let me know if you have any tips for me. And yeah, I will see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.